Ahoy everyone and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Helian today along with... I am first meter here along with... Um, apparently, um, I'm not a, apparently I'm not a quartermaster. Also, I don't um, exist. Like my, uh, give me my a second. I forgot, to, <laughs> I forgot to copy you over. Uh, uh, yeah, see. I'm apparently not a quartermaster. Yeah, uh, I'll just copy this over. Wait, we're gonna, we're gonna have to debate that for first mate and quartermaster, and that's supposed to be the same thing. I'm pretty no, sure the not. the quartermaster is like the dude who texts the stuff and. Hang on. Be... Yeah, for, I was told the first mate does exactly the same thing. Just quickly mind. copying everything over, but yeah, we, we can do the intro stuff a bit as well. Uh, yeah, welcome back to Tomb Raider Anniversary, our second stream with this, and that was it's a praise to be keeping with this. Uh, I need to copy over more than just this usual stuff. Okay, now this part and the width and okay, 716 675. Holy. Uh, yeah, I, I should have done this earlier, but... Uh, and yeah. also, our Discord thing is appears up in the corner. Yeah, that's part of the trying to put in ROMs chat there. There, there we go. Ah, there you go. Oh. Um, that's a big picture of him. Now we just need to copy over the transformation or the... There, yeah, copy and paste. There. There we go. Uh, there, it's a bit oddly shaken still. Uh, am I missing something here in it? Let's see, properties. Oh, right. Uh, 716, and then it was 675. In the height. There we go. A bit bigger. <laughs> oh, right, because I, I shrunk down uh, Rom's and uh, no, Rakir's in picture on this, but I, I haven't done that here, but uh, <laughs> Rom can be the big wolf for now. <laughs> Why uh, is this bigger than me? Alright, well, technically well, wolves are bigger than bearded lizards. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I'll pr I'll work <laughs> on that later. Uh, you, already, you also said that you wanted your avatar to be smaller still than this. Uh, for now, Let's resume where we started. We have lost time. Yeah, we um, couldn't do a full Where's time, the game? Oh, hold on. Uh, all right. Yeah, it, it's uh, gone black. There, game capture. I, I, I sort of, I sort of went cheap while making this uh, new scene, as I, in I don't have everything copied over yet. So yeah, I'll just have to need, need I'll just need to add some extra. Th uh, capture sources and such in. So, yeah. Uh, oh, okay. Last time we started and uh, we killed a T-Rex in like the first hour or so. Yeah, so far as I know, it, this one is kind of famous for having a very epic start. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure in the original it took a bit before you even got to the freaking uh, T-Rex. Or if that was in this one at all. It, it was. Yeah, it was, uh, actually. Yeah, that's what... I, I remembered something here about trying to drop down only to end up going into the ditch down there. I mean, that's because there's a little ledge over that one. So if we were to... If we were to drop down... Yeah, it, <laughs> it would have skipped us right into the abyss. Uh, let's see. Wait, did we go back? Or am I just... I recognize... I'm not sure if I we got turned around or we just... I'm very obviously recognizing all of this. Okay, yeah, I, yeah we're headed back now since we have the, the third cog that we need. So it would make sense for me to recognize this place. We went through here before. Yeah. Uh, Oop, there we go. Camera can still be a little bit jittery here and there, but there's far worse things that this game could be doing 
to go wrong with everything. Yeah. Do I got surprised that you said, you know, he said they told us this before stream that you haven't found any fixes. Now the PC gaming wiki doesn't really speak of many issues, so I think the most of the problem that we're having is just the game running a bit faster than it might be should. And again, it is limited to 60 FPS, so and it's and that is internal. So I'm not sure what more we could really do except for starting to screw around in the files and such. Which is often needed for old games, but so far not so much with this one, I think. Hmm. Yes, so far it hasn't been too bad. Yep. Oh. What was bad oh, was the attempt down. at the jump there. What the uh. heck? I, I was trying to go for a swan dive, but I hit this. I hit the roll button too quickly. Yeah, that that, that was anything but graceful. There we go. Much better. Even though Laura starts to scream as if she's going to die on the way down. Yeah. What? 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 I just started. What, what the heck was he screaming for? It's just a game uh, responding to well, a great fall. It doesn't really keep track on if you are on, if you're going to land in water or not. I think the original, I think the original five games had it similarly or so. It, it, as long as you're going down a long enough fall, Laura will start screaming. For good reason, because she's going down a hell of a long way, typically. Yeah. I'm, oh bloody heck! This, these toasties are good. I love my new tools, Master. Yeah, I just got a new one, toaster. One thing with this toast, Master, that is a bit concerning. And that is? There's no on and off switch. Okay, so the off switch. I think the off switch is then just pulling the plug on it. Yeah, and the socket I put it in can be a bit. Uh, Stubborn sometime. Might want to put it into a one that is a bit safer then. Yeah, that, oh, it, it is safe, just. It, it, it holds it a little bit uh, firmly. <clears throat> okay. Or... And yeah, now the water fall has been split, so we can get through it. And yeah, note for myself to add. Uh, that still needs to be added in. We missed a relic and an artifact. The relics are more, more secretly hidden. Let's put a new save on each of these, just in case. <laughs> you, put, you set up the save, shoot a wall. But yeah, one thing that still needs to be added into this scene is, well, the chats. But I'll need to configure it a bit differently this time, so that uh, text will vanish after a time. Oop. Okay, that one caught me off guard. Typically, Laura will give a bit more hints that a jump is going bad before she well hits the next point. Like she was flailing around with one arm earlier. It's gonna collapse. Yep, I was gonna say that. Hey, it didn't collapse. Wait, what? Yeah, that is going to cause it to collapse, though. Uh oh. Question is, how far do we need to go to set it off? But ask and you shall be answered. That was even roller. That was sliding. <laughs> <laughs> sliding to your DMs like a boulder. Okay, now we can go what? down here, though. <laughs> yep, yep. Okay. That sounds like a functional phrase. Let's see. Can we move this? No, it's stuck in place still. But we can move this one. Give ourselves a bit of a platform to try and go this way. I don't know exactly how many of these types of physics uh, 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 puzzles we'll have wherever we go, but I... Ooh, hello. 
There will be a few at the very least throughout the trilogy. Let's see. I'm going to have to break this thing loose. Can we make those jumps? I think we might be able to. First, let's put this into place so we can actually get out of here. She's damn strong. Yeah. I'm, sometimes I'm surprised it's not a bit more, even more buff to slide some of those things. If they'd, ma if they'd make Laura again in this day and age, she probably would be a bit more buff. And it's not enough distance. You can move that. Can we? Okay, I think we need both to get over there. But we have ledges that we can catch onto on the other side. Also, for how much stuff Laura typically keeps on her, that backpack is comically small. Yeah. Yeah, kinda. I thought of that. It, it almost looks like a schoolgirl's backpack more than anything. It might be, for all we know. I think Laura would be would want to be taken a bit more seriously than that. There well, we it might work for her since, let's be honest, it's a very basic uh, backpack. It's not a, it's not a you? made pink or decorate or anything. So it might be more of a camping bag than a school bag. Plus, she typically has to travel lights. Where is this taking us? It was taking you to the lock. Yep, yeah, it was taking us back. <laughs> hmm. Okay, we'll just have to do a bit of an odd work jump here, I think. Or, well, or just do. Nope. There we go. Now, what will we find this way? Other than a checkpoint. Okay, some more shotgun ammo that we can't pick up for some reason. So I'm guessing that either means we're full on it, or we glitch things somehow. Uh, uh, check your inventory. I think that might, you might be full on it for... I think that you to be committed on, you get a little shotgun shells you can't use. 32. For some reason. Not sure about the limits for that, but oh well. We don't even have the bloody shotgun. <laughs> we maybe we could have found it at some place in a hidden area. Oh. What if the shotgun was around with the one of the secret ones? Possible. Like a lot of a lot of games have stuff like that. Uh, where is the next? That doesn't look too. Okay, it's covered with moss, but we can still go there, I think. I don't think it's so. Well, no. there we found out. <laughs> Ow. Okay. Also, I, I can get, I get, I do understand our traps and spear traps and such, but there is some ones I don't understand. Like, they're supposed to act, shoot when someone triggers them. I'm wondering who the heck is refilling them. Yeah, I, I think with the, <laughs> I think they're self re supposed to be self reloading or something, since they are catching the bolts. Oh, okay, okay. I, I thought they were shattering. <laughs> they seem to be catching the bolts, shooting them back, catching the bolts, shooting them back. Okay, th that makes more sense. For I thought I saw them kicked in the wall and shatter. Okay, I know they're, they're... If we... Something I missed earlier, but if we start rolling and jumping, or mixing them together... Laura will get a bit more acrobatic with it all. Alright, oh, not too see. bad. Got it once. Yeah, yeah, I believe you're supposed to get m be able to get more moves out of that in one go. But uh, 
it's it's not really a uh, oh, it's not really a thing that you're fully told about. I think. Anyways, let's pull this, and it opens up one of the gates. Yep. It opens up the rearmost gates, and now we have to figure out how to open the front and metal gate. Hmm. It's, it's not just jumping out. Okay, now these are active as well. <laughs> Ran straight into that one. Ow! Okay, try to not walk into the um into the swinging pendulums. Oh. Uh, I just realized if they were to make a, a bit more buff, they, they would need to have a balance to have a buff but still able to be this acrobatic. Yeah. So she will not be a bodybuilder. Then again, bodybuilders are not acrobatic at all. She probably have a bit more muscle on like her arms. Like, like she'd be toned, but if we were going also for the acrobatic, that would be thin. Also have a lot to wrap her. Oh yeah, no, no, no way. I, I thought it was a doggy. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> funny. But yeah, like I said, you'd ba she'd basically be like, She'd have noticeable muscle on like her arms and legs and even her torso, but more she'd still athletic be thin in order to have to do more acrobatic stunts. Yeah, so uh, what would it be to be athletically fit? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, for she looks athletically just. Not sure about the fit part. To be fair, this is also 2007. Yep. Yeah. And it's a remake of a game that was made in like... The, the late night... The mid... When the fuck was the original Tomb Raider made? Oh... Uh, Definitely the 90s, 90s I believe. Uh, it, it was... And it was the 90s, but I don't remember the specific... It, it, probably around uh, when uh, PlayStation 1 released. For she... Yeah, it was a she PlayStation was 1 game. Yeah, she yeah. was busy almost accident just by Queen's became a PlayStation 1 icon. A own own official mascot, so to say. I think you're supposed to get there. There's a metal ring on that. Actually, Actually, if we get on top of this thing, we can probably get a shot at that to break the other half of this sign. So we go back onto it. Okay. Just a bit of environmental puzzling. Yep, yep. Come on. Alright, back to square one. I do remember that the platforming can be a bit annoying every now and then in this game. There you go. Can we just get up here? Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Also, you can swing. Oh. And. There's a lever here. It you missed. Break it. Laura's ankles again. And now we're fully out of the small med kids. Oh no. The, see what I. S the platforming can be a bit uh, iffy. Yanky. Yeah. Okay. Back to Just here again. Gang. I noticed that she does have a little bit of muscles on her shoulders. Here's a random detail that I don't know if anybody catches. Uh, oh. If you get a close-up of Lara, look at her model. Okay, that's the main entrance. Now we need the middle one. But uh, she does 
kinda get a bit dirty as you just keep on like climbing stuff. She does clean up because th that's like the default. But it is a bit of a nice detail. Yeah. Okay. Now to get down. A... Not like that. <laughs> well, on the upside, at least that sort of that sort of injury means you know you can actually use the large first aid kit. Yeah, but I prefer mm. we save them for when combat happens and such. Yeah. Oh dear. Okay, pull it away from up there, since that'll cause us to let go as well. Okay. Let's set this one no. down the road. Never mind. Here's our... Okay, just try to not have it crash into it so that it doesn't bounce. Okay, you were going to say? Uh, oh, right, uh, in the first, uh, Angelina Jolie movie, uh, Daniel Craig was in it, and... Okay, for those that are not in the know, Daniel Craig plays the latest 007 after Pierce Brosnan ended his tenure, I think. Yep. Last year, with, uh, No Time to Die. And... What's funny to me is that in one scene in the, the first Tomb Raider movie with Angelina Jolie, he actually is using a Walter P99, which uh, Pierce Brosnan's 007 had swapped to. He'd been making a comment about it like, oh, hey, the new Walter. I've been asking you to get me one of these. <laughs> okay. And, and Funny enough, that's actually the Walter he, uh, that, uh, Daniel Craig uses, the type of Walter that he used, that Daniel Craig uses in Casino Royale before swapping to 007's more iconic. Oh, hey, there's, a there's the, yeah, uh, You just extra, need to time the rolls. Yeah. To 007's more iconic Walter PPK. Oh, come on. Ow. Well... And what's even funnier is that one of the prop guns from the movie was actually the same prop gun, prop, uh, AK carbine used by Pierce Brosnan in Goldeneye. Okay. That Daniel Craig used. So that is just kind of funny to me. <laughs> Well, I don't mind them reuse your props, but... Uh... I mean, a lot of props get reused, like, in the movie Blood Diamond, one of the rifles used was from... was literally, you could actually... was from, um... Black Hawk Down. Because, you know, a lot of armories have, like... you know, they have their stock of weaponry, and... you know, some weapons show up in different movies, and... No, what I find funnier is that an actor who wouldn't play 007 until a few years after his appearance in the in the in, in the first the Angelina Jolie Lara Croft movie is using two weapons used by a prior 007. No, okay, now you see, now I see what you mean. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Lara, grab onto the thing, please. Really? You literally went through it this time. Yep. Okay. Third time the charm. Okay, okay that one hell. you sort of missed. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she went playing through again. Uh, her okay. arm uh, did. Yeah, that's one of those things. There we go. Okay, there we go. It, it, it's similar to the. Similar to the ledge from last time, we just needed to move up a bit. Yeah, the the platforming can be a bit picky and janky. This game was made for like Windows XP, so running it on 10 probably doesn't help. Yeah. Okay. At least it was not made for Windows Vista. Mm. Yeah, we 
We should just be able to uh, jump directly as through As much there. as I hate Branham Lynam, he did... Uh, yeah, I do like the IT crowd as much as I hate the guy who created it. I, I remember one specific joke that's like... Okay, so Roy and Moss are just walking down the street. There's a robot on the street and it turns out it's a bomb disposal robot. Which is glitching out, and Moss asks the EOD guy, "What kind of operating system does it use?" And the EOD, the EOD guy says, "It's a uh, Vista." And Moss says, "We're going to die." Dude, yeah, Vista lost. was not liked in the slightest. Oh, come on! Yeah. This XP and. When you save them, is still to this day well loved. Okay, yeah, know what was going is on at least, there. you know, usable, and 7 is one of the better made uh, Windows OS's. Okay. Big, beyond, honestly, the biggest reason why I swapped to Windows 10 was because most games now only accept Windows 10 natively. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I and maybe I want to play some games on PC, but no, they don't accept Windows 7, they accept Windows 10, and I'm just sort of fine, I'll fucking upgrade, whatever. Yeah, now we see a case of, uh, I think there was a trend that people will try to avoid the latest version as long as possible, like Windows 11 is a thing. People try to avoid Windows 11 as long as possible. Because typically yeah. they come out with so many glitches and such that it takes years to literally fix. And yeah. uh, there's also the it's fact that like... I believe Windows 11 is just stumped, stuffed full of uh, ads and such. Yeah, that wouldn't surprise me. What's even more annoying is that if you have a legal copy of 10, it's like, I think Microsoft tries to force you into updating. Also, you just now realized that I'm layered on top of- that I was layered yeah. on top of Trick here. Okay. Yeah, I was uh, saying that early. Yeah. Hello. Hey, look, an ancient uh, thing in an ancient temple. Yeah, see, she has a bit of a- of like smudges on her. Um... Well, she lost them in between scenes, but you could have seen- Oh, look! Things that are probably gonna try to kill Here us if we take the thingy. Here the God King Qualipec, one of the Triumvirate, keepers of the three pieces of the skill. No, see, Diviners see her chest, knowledge. uh, it has, Sacred like, some sweat and Atlantis. some smudges on it. So, here's something I wanna point out. Uh, the Incas did not have a written language. Or at least a language that could be written in such a way that it can be written down in stone. Instead, what we had... Yeah, can we just watch the cutscene and keep the talk to the after, please, yeah, for a moment? Yeah, don't worry, I'll... Yeah, give me a minute, I'm gonna wait for it. Just trying to look... So yeah, look. One, one ancient fidget spinner acquired. One ancient thing acquired, and now it we have to fail. Yeah. Uh, why? What? Why did they set up their entire like temples to have a self-destruct system if you just grab one item? Like, yeah, imagine it's a if trope you're now. like. How do we wonder if it's not intentional, Wolf? Bad maintenance, and they did something that uh, caused a chain reaction. No, or it's just uh, the, the mummified corpse was sitting, sitting on top of a pressure plate to keep this place stable. Yeah, that would have been funny. But it's always kind of. Um, I'd hi there. I'd love to join you, but I forgot my trunks. Why am I not surprised? You got your job, I got mine. I'll take it from here. I hope Natla sent you here with more than that shotgun. Don't sweat it, kitten. I prefer a more hands-on approach. Uh, 
I did say I would show one or two during each of these. I find it funny that you picked the one where the guy pulls out a shotgun. This is only one piece of the Skion. Where's the rest of it? Give me a minute. I'm thinking. <laughs> Woohoo! Makes no difference to me. Pierre's probably already found his piece. Pierre Dupont? Where? Now that I don't know. All right. I'm convinced. You really had me going there. Hey, there's the shotgun. Yep. Uh, Pierre Dupont is actually someone from the old trilogy as well. Scotland, we go. Okay. Uh, yeah, the, I misspoke there for a bit. What I meant is that uh, Pierre is an old rival of uh, Laura's that appears in the uh, the fourth game as well, the fourth of the original five. Um, yeah, where she is, well, <laughs> competing with him over an artifact at one point or another. All right. And, and also, we made a bunch of unlocks. I'm going to have to say, she may not be very strong in build, but she used her agility to great effect. And let's be honest, those boots could have hurt regardless. Yeah. <laughs> she is more of a rogue than a fighter, so to say. Uh, I'm going to say more martial artist. I've acquired new evidence that leads me to believe so, it is the Skion itself uh, that is in some strange way a vast so library of information to rival even Alexandria. I am now convinced that if I can obtain it, I will finally discover what happened to my beloved Amelia. Oh, Pierre, you litter bug. Okay, what's, what's fun with these loading screens is that I'm pretty sure those were similar or the same in the original game as well. And hello! What? Really? Those are the cycle buttons? Hold on. Who I'm said we go in Scotland? I'm not, I'm not sure if this is Scotland. 
There we go. It's just a mouse wheel. I suppose you'll move to probably Scotland. Natla doesn't honor her contracts, Pierre. I'd move on if I were you. No, mademoiselle. Natla and I understand each other. I find things for her, and she rewards me handsomely. But you see the very thing she does. That is why you are not trusted. I trust my instincts. And that is why you are so complex. I am professional, mademoiselle. I focus on the job, and I get paid. There's more to life than money, Pierre. This isn't life, mademoiselle. It's business. Your compulsion prevents you from seeing the difference. It hasn't prevented me from getting a piece of the scale. How's business for you? Touché. So then, why don't we see whose compulsion gets them the next piece? So we went from one place to another place to a third place, and this dumbass still hasn't gotten this piece of the puzzle. Yep. Yeah, and I wanna... Where the heck are we? The, those things... But, they were lions, right? And pumas, maybe, or cougars? I know cougars? there were big cats, I know that much. If they were cougars, they'd be all in America. Good, I think we're... Oh, yeah, we're somewhere oh, in right, Europe, I was still, saying about the, uh, the Incan Empire. We didn't exactly have the sort of language that could be uh, written down into stone. We had what was known as... Kuipu, which were basically, like I said, prior, pretty much just, uh, um, springs. Like, we use those for keeping records, tax, census, military organization. Basically, we made a language out of, like, tying strings up. Okay. Huh. That's a relic, and this, this is uh, Medusa's story, so I'm guessing we're in Greek, or Greece, okay, good. Greece, probably, hang on. The, Greece have had lions, but they went the extinct Greeks early on. The heavenly bodies. Yeah, the Greeks. <laughs> yeah. But there, is, there were lions in Greece, but they went extinct early on thanks to the Romans. So they hunted into extinction just for the damn arena. The same happened in the North African lion as well. Let's see, the eye and... And... No, reset yeah, reset this. Yeah, we're in Greece. And then, yeah, we're in Greece. There we go. Somehow that to works. Check, I had to check the Wikipedia page to know where the fuck were we. All right, then I guess these are somehow Greek lions that still been alive. So we are committing. Um, what offense is that? Because uh, vandalism. We know that trespassing. No, no. And okay, no, we've done vandalism. We've done trespassing. I mean, the one where we kill, like possibly endangered species. I mean. Uh, probably yeah. called killing an endangered species. Yeah, that that's straightforward enough. Uh, let's see. Lower back. No, I, I do think that is a like hunting it is illegal, but you all allowed to defend yourself. I mean, yeah, self defense against um, uh, you know, self defense against an animal is a thing. Yeah. There Provided that you at least try to avoid it, if it is avoidable to begin with. And apparently E is a reload. I, Why I never R? knew this game had reload as a button. Oh, right. I, I set it up too hard. No, what I mean is like, okay, yeah, you can, like, if an animal attacks you, Fair, that makes sense. You defend yourself. But the thing is, in places like this, you also have to justify to somebody why were you breaking into an ancient temple deep in the fucking mountains or wherever. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, do that again. 
No one seems to guard it. Mm, That's true. Good. Okay, no points are lit up here, so what would you need to do to open that gate up? Good question. And actually, I just realized something here. What if uh, Lovecraft was not reading ancient Incan? She what might have been fuck? reading the ancient Atlantean. Well, it. It would make sense, except in legend, um, she's reading in a temple in Peru out of stone, except, like I said, she's reading something out of a language that cannot be translated into stone. Hmm. Yeah. Then again, that is, if she was reading Incan, for it could be another another language, for it was apparently a Atlantean temple. Uh, Laura, yeah, no, uh, Laura knows like a dozen or more different languages. And hello there, Noon, in chat. Hey. <laughs> you doing well? Wait, I, I thought I, oh, I moved it over. I haven't adjusted it yet so that the, the text actually fades away over time. That was the thing that I'd forgotten. Oh, well. <clears throat> so, how are you doing, Noon? Oh, well, that answers that. Okay. Oh, dear. Uh, yeah, ho hope you'll improve with that. And Wait, we, we could have just gone up this way the entire time. I, I, uh, I feel like I could have probably look up some lore videos about, uh, about Lara for... I think there's more than a dozen languages she can speak. Yeah. For as much as an action goal she is, she is also just... Really freaking intelligent. Well, you... Actually, let's be honest. If you're gonna do these kind of things, you probably gonna need it. Yeah. Or... Let's say this. If you're seeing someone that's only muscles and burly brain, and they only know some military tactics, but zero... Just zero in history and research, they will probably die quickly. Expectable. Also expectable. They definitely remembered more of whatever these are. Oh, oh yeah, Th those are lions. Those are lions and not cougars. So we have officially are committing... Um... We're, po we're poaching at the very least. <laughs> Accidental poaching at that. Uh, poaching would mean that you kill them to take just one part illegally. This is more like... Yeah, I, I would just call it self-defense. Yeah, I think just killing them uh, in general is considered poaching, whether you take something or not. You probably have to, like... Try to explain to a court. Yes, I did shoot that t that incredibly rare tiger. No, I didn't shoot because I wanted anything from it. I just didn't want to get my fucking head bitten off. Yeah, yeah you you had to tell them you shot them as they were attacking you. Like that South Park episode where they shout, "It's coming right at us!" Whenever they kill something, because it's become illegal to actually hunt anything. Oh, gee, God. It was really illegal to hunt those things specifically anyways. Okay. Yeah, we're going to get a bit more verticality here. Oh, dear. Very obvious lever. Okay. Let's see. This actually won't get us closer. We can pull that down. Okay, that is the way how we get there. Just need to get down to that without snapping our spine in half. Let's see, that is going to bring us down. All right. There's a artifact in there. The water is... Okay, oh. didn't, I didn't jump early enough. Okay. 
Luckily enough, the, the checkpoints are generally pretty fair. Get a tug. And then we pull that back. Yeah, I recall as a young robot games with the... But you need to do a lot of jumping and such, mm -hmm. and the checkpoints were almost part of my language. Pure bullshit. Yeah. Atlas. Atlas? Okay. We're gonna check that one. Hang on. Alright. Now, where is all of this? leading us at the moment. The... Really, Laura? Well, shit. Also, I think you got a checkpoint on that one. Nope. No. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, dear God. Oh, right, Atlas. I remember now. It's it's, uh, it's a giant that holds, uh, that holds the world on his back. Yeah, the, the Titan, I believe, isn't quite. Yeah. Why does the camera get so jittery when we grappled onto something? It's really hyper focusing. We're trying to, and oh, we, we could just shortcut to this one instead. And there's one that says Ephaistos. All right. And yeah, so for new here. Uh, okay, I'll read what you typed in a bit, uh, noon. But first, you can uh, watch us. Expel these bats from existence. Oh dear, and I can read it up. I actually can read it for once. Let's see. Man, I remember this game. Uh, so, Noon Senpai says, Man, I remember this game from PS1, and my uncle played it on his laptop. And being stuck at one part because he needed to press zero on the numpad, his laptop did not have that. <laughs> okay. You know you're screwed when you when one of the requirements to pass is to use an item to use something that your PC does not even have or use. Yeah. Oh god, I'm remem oh god, I remember something. Okay, there's a there's an old uh X-Men game for like I think it was the Sega Genesis. That in order to finish a level you have to actively restart your console. Okay. What? Yeah, I think I heard of this. Yeah, I think the uh, James Roll did a video on it when he talked about a bunch of different X X Men games. Yeah, that might be a, a record from a bloody heck. And you want to know the annoying part? Okay, so Sega may like. Um, I'm correct, a portable system so that you can play your Sega Genesis games. And if you played that game on that, you were screwed. Because there was no reset button. You oh, can, and, cool. and like pressing on and off, off and on again does not count. Okay. Four what lights. the heck? Uh, that reminds me that uh, a trick with one of the portable Zelda games, which I'm pretty sure would be... Actually, I, I'm, no, I'm pretty sure you can't play the old uh, DS games on the... So can you play those on this 3DS? Anyways, there is one trick in there where you need to not, you know, not uh, close off the, you know, the program, of it, but you need to... Uh, you know how those things fold open like an old clam uh, cell phone yeah now you had to <laughs> you had to fold it shut and then fold it back open for the trick to work and um, I'll need to double check uh, I'll need to double check but I know at the very least that one version of the 3DS can't do that and I'm not even sure if you c I'm pretty sure uh, you can play DS games in the 3DS yeah I checked on the support. Apparently, you can play Nintendo DS games on the 3DS, but if the game requires the use of the GBA slot, like say the Guitar Hero one type ones, you cannot play those. Any other one, you're it seems to be like you're free. Okay, but with with this the uh, the flat 3DS or however that was called again. 
Uh, I'm pretty sure you would not be able to do that trick that's required in Phantom Hourglass. Okay, it's... Wait, that was a name I did not recognize. I think I think you might recognize the term that is associated with the, the name, though. Yeah, see, they, which of these was, are we getting to first? They don't even get a proper chance to read a dome... Uh... Damocles. Of course, start of Damocles. Okay, yeah. okay, that name I do recognize. For now, yes. we are headed to Poseidon's domain. There's gonna be a lot of water then. Okay, I did. I actually intended to jump to one of these side things, but we time I timed that just right to climb. You just skip ahead. <laughs> okay. Rat. Why well, there's something wrong with these rats? Just out of nowhere, rats. Yeah. Also, those two 1911 handguns have apparently 20 rounds per magazine because it overall leads to 40 rounds. That's not really possible. I know there. I know the 10 millimeter has like. I know like the 9 and the 10 millimeters have like a bigger magazine capacity, but unless you have like an extended magazine that's stuck out of the gun, you cannot have like something like 20 rounds like that. There we go. We can't grab that lever though, as is. So, oh, hello. We're short on these. We can get to this lever. The classic on the water levels. Uh, yeah, levers. The... Oh, that's a relic. Or no, not uh, the artifacts differ in appearance for each area. So yeah, these are the artifacts here. It's our spear tips. Can you say that again, Helium? Spear tips. Much better. For <laughs> you said spear tits earlier. <laughs> okay. Let's see. I must say, I, I really like the music in these games as well. I, I'd probably say that the Legends version of the main theme is probably one of the best. Now, where do we I, activate something here? I don't know them. Then again, I, was, I haven't been able to watch too much of Lara Croft games due to the... Yeah, the YouTubers do way too many sh huge jump cuts. Yeah. There's a block we can move, and here's another one. Along with some ammo for something. And the moment we unplug this thing, the place starts to flood. Yeah, that doesn't... Yeah, that seems about right. But hey, you can now get to the damn switch. Yeah. Yeah. And this thing here... Dump that in the water. And sink like a rock. Probably because it's made out of it. Okay, uh, Laura, there we go. Uh, Smack. You might want to swim uh, upwards. Uh, would, would it do that? Okay, it's a wooden raft. So we just block this off. Lower the lo water level down to that. When you think and about it, can... Lara should be able to flip the switch on without having to flood it. True, but it, it'd be a bit awkward to grab onto it. He has a and... rope and a grappling hook. You could use that to flip the switch. True. Okay. Come on. We may need the water again. 
There we go. Shut that thing up. And yes, we can even do that when there's ground underneath. Okay. We just gotta get you... this thing somewhere where it won't get blocked off. I thought you were to almost kill yourself there again. Yeah, it is something I've managed to do quite a lot, just di <laughs> swan diving around. You mean swan diving into a raft? Yep. Uh, somehow I'm not surprised. Okay, now Laura, we start to flood the place no, again. I don't know. Hmm? A lot of calcium on her bones. Possibly. Okay. And now we get uh, here. We got a problem. Or hmm? we don't have a problem. I don't even know. Okay, try lifting the whole thing up. There's nothing underneath it to get in the way. Or up above it. Ugh. Okay. Now, what do we act? Oh. I think we need it over here. Can we? No, we're short on that. Yeah, okay, no, okay. I should have looked there. around more for that. <laughs> okay. We just block this one off, and then we can. We should be able to pull it in the correct place. Or not? No. Okay, that is a part of this game's uh, puzzle design. It can take a bit of trial and error here and there. Okay. Let's shut this thing off. Yeah, now you need to make sure you put it in correct location the first try. And I think I see where. Where's the broken uh, thingies? Broken bridges. Let's get it over here. Let's see. Yeah, it'll be safe there. It might get lodged underneath the walkway up there a bit, but we can just move, pull it from there. Yeah. yeah probably. Okay. Okay. Head and Poseidon, let's see what you got. You know, I once did something really stupid when I was in high school. Hmm? Oh? So, we were out on a trip. We do the, we uh, did this whole annual thing, like, near the end of the year, basically. They take the students and take them to, like, I don't know, a place. Like, um, uh, or something because it's been it's been a year by the fuck not. And, and one of those years we were on a place that was near the beach. So we could like get through by going by I think it was um by a fence and we could get to the beach and one random thing, I have no idea why I did it, but one thing I did was get to the beach, and as the waves were hitting me, I immediately scream at Poseidon, is that the best you got? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, 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 not, that, that's not bad, that's kind of comical. It is, yeah. it, I kind of came out of it with like, oh fuck, something cut my nipple. Okay, so you gave Poseidon the finger and all he could get you was a paper cut. Apparently. <laughs> hey, we got the key of Poseidon. Okay, open this up. I think a few of my, like, my classmates saw me and told me to just stop doing that shit. Oh dear. It could be worse. It's like uh, standing out in a thunderstorm and daring Zeus to strike you down. Yeah. Dude, I, haven't I, that, I haven't reached that part of my life yet. And I don't have a shovel. Uh, so I guess you don't. And uh, I was to say, uh, Poseidon could have just sent a crab for your nipple? 
Probably. Yes. But worse? Worst, I've, worst encounter I've had with the sea was a fucking jellyfish stabbing me in the thigh. The inner thigh. Oh, I've always uh. heard those are painful. Yeah. Yeah. No, the worst for me was not in the water, actually. I was yep. digging in the sand to make a sandcastle. Just where I was bored. And I caught my hand on glass. Yeah. But it was broken shards deep in the sand. Because yeah, people, people are people fucking assholes do. with that. Yeah. They said they'll usually random shit around. Yeah. Let's see. Can we. There was only a shard and not a whole bottle. So I'm guessing. Something broke there long ago and uh, they, uh, they missed some. Or they just buried it and call it someone else's problem. Let's see. I'm trying to figure out how to platform over to Damocles' place. We can jump he... this. What was Damocles' god of? Hang on, let me check. That just goes down. That goes up okay, to Poseidon's. Okay, he's not a god of anything, he's a uh, part of an anecdote referred to as the Sword of Damocles, the, an allusion to an imminent and ever-present peril faced by those in positions of power. Hmm. Okay, hmm, so it was one of the kings or something. According to the story, Damocles was pandering to his king, who was Dionysius, the second of Syracuse. Claiming that Dionysius was truly really fortunate as a great man of power and authority without peer. Surrounded by magnificence in response, Dionysius offered to switch places with Damocles for one day so Damocles could taste that very fortune. Damocles quickly and eagerly accepted the offer and sat on the throne, surrounded by luxuries. Did I just accidentally distract you? <laughs> no, it was just a, the platform again being a bit wonky. Physics? They still hadn't come up with a way how physics work. Yeah. Time. Oh, I remember now. He sat on the throne, saw the luxuries, but Dionysius, who had many, made many enemies throughout his life, arranged that a sword should hang up off the throne, held, to the, held by the pommel, only by a single strand to the horse's tail to effectively say, what it means to be a king. Yes, you have a lot of fortune, but you're also always watching your back against dangers. Damocles finally begged the king to be allowed that he be allowed to depart because he didn't want the fortune, with realizing the whole great power comes great responsibility thing. Yeah, and the whole sword above the head thing. Yeah. Yeah, for So some kings back then at least knew that uh, if you're not a good king there will be assassins, rebellions, and whatnot. Or even if you were, you know somebody wanted your power simply because they wanted it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's the goal. That's the entire premise of uh, "Is No Good." <laughs> Both the comic and the TV uh, cartoon. Yeah, I remember the cartoon. I was surprised it was a French comic of all things. They they even made a bloody movie. Wait, what? A live action movie. I did not know this. Okay. And How? I have no idea. I, I don't think I liked Is No Good uh, as a kid. Like, I, I liked some characters or that, but I didn't hate it, but I think I disliked the main character. Says it. More of a when he starts screaming, well, basically his catchphrase. He wanted, he wants to be the caliph or something. Yeah, instead of the caliph. Yeah, the sultan, that, instead of the sultan. That's they used the word sultan in the Dutch version. 
Uh, yeah, they use Kalif in the Swedish dub. And it got very old fast for me. Yeah, some of some of those shows are not to be watched, uh, not to be binged, so better said. Yeah. Binge something is to often overfeed on something a bit, and what are we supposed to do here with this thing? You can't grab onto its ledge. I think you're supposed to find a way to push it so that it creates a bridge. And get up and turn around so I, so I can see it better. Okay, it kinda look. No, no, wait, no. Okay, you're not supposed to make a bridge. You're supposed to have. Uh, wait, actually. No, I'm talking out of my ass. Out of my ass. I have no idea what the fuck to do. Uh, it only leads you to do that? Kit anyways. Yep, speaking of. Also, wait, this speaking of leads over to up there, so we might as well. Uh That was a rumble. Yeah, that, that was the pillar sinking down a bit. Since we walked over it. Alright, so... There's nothing else besides lions here? You shouldn't. Um, Emphasis on shouldn't. Lions, bats... Minotaurs? Okay, that opens up to Hephaestus. Festus was one of the titans, I believe. Uh, no. He's related to forging. I, as in forge no, I think it, Like, I think he was related to forging, but he was actually a Greek god. Yeah, he was a Greek god. For forging and all. But he was not a titan. He did make weapons to kill titans, though. And he was also married to Aphrodite. To her yeah, I recall dismay. something of that. Probably due to, to the, the probably to the surprise of many. That is, because you really, yeah. The, the the platforming in this game can sometimes just be a case of yeah surviving the aggravation it can deal out. Yeah, just I, I got to safer way. Why do I get the feeling we're gonna have to make a highlight reel of the many falls of Lara Croft? <laughs> oh dear gods, I would not be surprised. And myself, I'm gonna probably at some point look up about Hephaestus and Aphrodite to see how the relations were. I feel like social media depicted it very different each time, so I don't know if any of it is true. All I know hmm. is that for all intents and purposes, not a lot of Greek gods were exactly uh, faithful. Yeah. yeah. Especially Zeus. Come on. Yeah, Zeus had so many bastard kids, it's not even funny. Yeah. I'm pretty sure um, the term bastard kid came from Zeus because he was being a bastard. Yeah. No. The, the something I noticed this, I think, like, I'm gonna compare Norse with Greek. The, the audience, I know that Greeks' gods were. Sometimes very unfair how they punish someone, and sometimes they punish someone that should not be punished, like Medusa. She was a victim, but Athena punished her anyway. Yeah. When, yeah, I I learned, yeah. the, when I learned that, I, I actually got pissed. Yeah, if I remember correctly, Athena was like pissed over. Uh... Again. Yeah, uh, this is gonna be a highlight reel at this point. Yeah, Athena uh, uh, was good because he made a better weave than her, and thus no, no, that's a a arachne. That was the the one she turned into a spider. Yeah, arachne. Okay, then which one were you? Uh, Medusa. Uh, oh, his yeah. problem. Rob, we cannot say what Poseidon did to Medusa on Twitch. We can't yeah, say no, the word. Uh, no, I know, I know what happened to Medusa. I just sort of remembered. I just had to like. I just went with like Arachne because I just went. Oh, okay. Which person did the Greek god screw this time? Okay, Athena. Okay, which do you remember? Okay, Arachne. Just shortcut the entire thing. Yeah. So, and the Greek gods have many of these things. And when you go to Norse mm. gods, it almost never happened. Like, yeah, sure, you can see the Norse gods 
can sometimes be a bit prick towards a giant or so, but no, rarely humans. They occasionally do punish a human, it's usually when they deserve it. Okay, let me finally okay, read out yeah. what Noon wrote out. <laughs> oh, sorry, go on. Uh, let's see. Often marvel at the old games, not only how much content there was, but also how good and complete they were. And all that without the many easy to use tools we have today. It truly shows the passion, art, and craftsmanship. It, it, if you know Josh Strife Hayes, or well, if you know him, you're probably subscribed to him already, but he did a video some time ago about the original Tomb Raider in his series of Was It Any Good? or something like that, where, well, he visits, he. <clears throat> He looks at old games and such, and does a, a video essay, basically, on uh, the whole thing. Is this Poseidon's again, or...? I don't think we're in Poseidon's, but then again, if we wind up near a... No, it's not Poseidon's, this one's Glitch. Like it. It was... <laughs> <laughs> no, that one's going into the highlight reel. Uh... Yeah, that's going to the highlights, Helian. <laughs> we're gonna uh... clip that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's also oh the fun God. with uh, with just some physics games that you can just screw yourself over like that. There's a, there's base, that was basically the <laughs> there's basically the cartoon joke of a someone standing in front of a door, it falling off its hinges and squishing them into a pancake. Yeah, no, th this one I feel like she. Okay, maybe maybe she will not be able to just grab it with a hand and hold it up. But I don't know how heavy that damn thing is. Uh, to be fair, the whole thing fall, fell on top of her head. So even if it wasn't heavy, you'd still, you know, feel it. Feel also, it, it looks like it's made of metal. Yeah, the, the, the case is definitely made of metal. And I think we someone... entered Hephaestus' place. Hephaestus, uh, well, he did forge the lightning that Zeus froze, so... I guess... The... Great, great. I'm having flashbacks to, uh... Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Okay, it's only the high places it gets at. So, we gotta keep an eye out on that. Uh, well, I might want to move before the thing is okay. We could have, we could have gotten killed in the cutscene there. I'm pretty sure. Let's see. Yeah, this is a Festus. Yep. Of him forging Zeus lightning teams. Yep. Okay. This obviously needs to go in here with the big fucking hammer. <laughs> Can I keep it? No. What? Uh, okay. Wait, what? Uh, uh, I'm guessing this was just encased in stone, concrete, or whatever. In that case, we probably could have gotten to it with either a saw or some good old fashioned serious putty. Wait, I think that might be bronze, and the reason it might be encased in. Oh, I get the puzzle. Oh. You have to put in each one, and that one was hidden. Yeah. Okay, that means we're missing one, though. So, have you faced the right way? And I'm guessing there's oh, there's another one up there. Okay, I how? Get it there. Like this. And yeah, we totally could have gotten squished under that thing. And oh, there's a big med pack there. I remember that there is at least one unique death animation in this area somewhere. We'll just have to find it still, though. Okay. Yeah, I think it might have something to do with the hammer that's falling. No, that would just crush us. It's a bit infamous. I'm pretty sure Noon knows what I'm talking about, so uh, preemptively no, wait. shush. Wait, wait, wait. I think I know what you mean. I think I know what you mean. And infamous okay. makes me concerned. That'll make your reaction all the better. 
Okay. Well, you said infamous. That makes me worried if I'm gonna hate it. Uh, not infamous for being bad. Okay. Unboxing bronze statues or stat just more bronze busts. There we go. Okay. I think you're supposed to find something to put there. Or to make the hammer permanently stay there. There we go. There it is. Just gotta whack it down even further. Yeah, okay. Again, I'm pretty certain a key would, would make this shit a lot easier. But then the architects wouldn't get paid as much. Oh, well. Leaving that back behind, yes, but I don't want to mess around too much with trying to get to it. Don't get close this to the door, it might fall. Okay, this one just opens normally. Well, as it should, not normally. Okay, I'm pretty sure these things were supposed to be opened up from both sides at once, since, well, it only opens up parts of the spears. Part of the spears. So, imagine you like worked at this place and now and you just needed to use the bathroom but you realized oh fuck I gotta get somebody to like get to the other side Steve get to the other side of the door I, we need to open it <laughs> oh good god <laughs> get in here someone... or Festus is going to have to make a toilet uh, th 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 someone yeah someone should make Ske skits and sketches of those things. I cannot surprise no one had made use of those yet. Okay. Uh, we could have gotten to Atlas a lot earlier if I hadn't constantly messed up the jump there. So let's try and give him a visit now. now not the Atlas shrugged kind of Atlas. Wait, what? You know what I, you know what I hate? I hate mm -hmm. the fact that Atlas Shrugged is now forever known as the title of a shitty novel by a shitty person. Yeah, wasn't it I Anne never... Ryan or something? I never yeah, heard Anne of it. Ryan. Uh, and to give you an example of, uh, and the uh, Atlas Shrugged and and Ryan are basically uh, two of the basis that uh, the whole Bioshock Rapture and such was based on Ob objectivism, a basically asshole philosophy. Basically, oh. kind, you know, kindness is a weakness, always look out for yourself, all that shit. Hmm. Okay, now, now I get, now I understand, now I understand. There we go. Okay. Well, a bit more than needed. Let's see. Whatever. Uh, okay. Oops. Okay, it is. Oh, there. It's opening up the. <laughs> yeah, not opening up. Way to make a bridge. Closing. Run. And. You can I'm take a guess as what's going that's to happen. Gonna fall, right? Okay, definitely Atlantean made for. Greeks did not have a complete globe of the world. <laughs> it's just really close hell? enough to make yes. you walk into the spikes to try and grab those. Yes, walk into the spikes to grab the shotgun shells. You can't. Well, actually, you did fire the shotgun, so you probably can pick those up. It's this is up. Oh, it's more 50 caliber ammo. Uh, let's see. Uh, how much health? Yeah, not enough to waste packs on. Okay. I think that's for when you need to get to the other side. Yep. Um, how do we get to that though? Wonder why is that there? 
Honestly, if we ask, honestly, I. Oh, that's why it falls. You need to trigger it. Yep. It also retracts the first layer of these. I get it. You, you run, you use the. Uh... You know. There we go. And that breaks enough for us to be able to cross or get up. Now we open the door again. We close the uh, bridge again. Actually, how are you going to cross back with this open this yeah. time? Yeah, I was about to say, wait, I don't know the people that go through the other stuff, go through, are able to come back. Is there does it have a second set you? installed? Yeah. Oh, no, that I just <laughs> closes it again. Or there's just a switch that closes it so that you can just not have to worry about it. That or you have to make sure whoever is opening, uh, closing it, does it run off. Yeah, oh yeah, shit, it's my brother's again. wedding, I gotta go. Yeah, like that. <laughs> the key, the key of, of Atlas. Atlas. No, the only one who thinks that sometimes some puzzles sometimes make you question why it is I feel like you understand game mechanic wise, but when you think back when it was built, some of these things don't make sense. Yeah. Like the pole you drew out there earlier. Like what's it supposed to be deployed when you wanna hang up Flags or something for festival or what? I Bing? I, I yeah. don't know. I I don't really know. Yeah, you know, room see what I mean. But you when you start thinking about it, you start realize why was it that? Right. Why are you what? Oh. Yep. Come on, Laura, jump. Yep. I'm beginning to think this highlight reel is gonna consist of glitches, deaths, and the many falls of Lara Croft. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Three keys. One to go. And okay, it's Democles. we did Atlas, Hephaestus. And Poseidon, oh, so Democles Poseidon. is left. Okay. And his place is down there. Uh, not going to make that drop. So that's going to shatter ankles again. Okay. Now, how do we... Okay, so we we are sort of supposed to get around that to get there as well, but fuck that. And fuck our ankles, apparently. Oh my spine, my ankle! What the heck are we gonna do with you? <laughs> Get lots of bandages. How do bandages Get fix broken bones? Get the duct tape. <laughs> See, <Seriously>, duct tape. <laughs> and then the duct tape, not the duct tape. Because that's a bit hard to wrap around an ankle. <laughs> It struggles too much. Oh, I actually remember I, for, when I was younger. I actually thought it was spelled duck tape. Actually, here's a fun fact: it was originally originally called duck tape instead of duct tape because when the military first used it in like World War II, they commented that it makes it sound like a duck, <laughs> so it was colloquially known as that. And then the name just became duct tape with a T when it became part of when it got sold into the civilian market. I have to admit, I can like I can see what they mean. It sounds like a duck when you really opening it open it up. Not not a perfect quack, but you see what they mean. Yeah, it's not an exact sound, but like was that a duck for a second there? Yeah, kinda. <laughs> I'm out of those situations. I think you're supposed to swing yourself from the ledge. Wait, I'm a bit. through the ledge there. 
the entire rope around Rome and swing him over. And use yeah, him as an anchor. Uh, yeah, because a wolf that's what only slightly less heavier than Lara is gonna be a good anchor point. Uh, we can always upgrade you to a werewolf. That could work. <laughs> I'll actually. <laughs> Here's me. I'll actually be pondering what we could promote things and in case we were to upgrade our models. One of my ideas was to promote Rome to a werewolf ship cook. <laughs> okay. Except I don't know how to cook and my knowledge extends to some video game trivia and firearms. Well, then yeah. you, you and a werewolf have maybe something called. Actually, maybe some werewolves are good at cooking. I'm not. <laughs> uh, well, I guess master it, doesn't have to uh, cook. Okay. If it falls, I'm gonna laugh. Oh dear. Well, yeah, I guess a werewolf cannoneer or quartermaster could work. No. I, I seriously gonna need to look up some pirate videos or something to see what's oh, a first aid and what's a quartermaster. But sometimes they seem to be the same thing. Okay, since I get he's it. too Lara's weak to actually lift us. Yeah. yeah. Lara's weight is too much, so we gotta get, so we gotta use this thing. She has to lessen it a bit with uh, the crumpets and tea. Oh, come on. Come on, really? Okay, let's give this another go. See if that little bit helps. Or is, is there something we need to jump to? I... Did you break it? Yep, it's I permanently you broke open it, now. Um, I think the idea is that you use that as a ledge as it goes up, so that when it gets to its highest point as it falls, you then jump onto it. Okay, but oh, now we can pull okay. it again. Okay, it, it, it just needs to go back down again. Or hmm, maybe you can use it to jam the uh, the spikes. Yeah, those are jammed open now, but the other half. No, I mean aren't. like get it closer so that those don't actually close. I think those only opens on the other side. What the? Okay, I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be in reach. There is literally nothing else. Okay. Hmm. Okay, try just leaving it there, opening it, and then climbing once it gets to its highest point. Nope. Once it gets to its highest point. Not yeah. Like, yeah, I guess it's supposed to be used to ease your release to the highest point. <laughs> or not. not. I'm just glad we didn't get to see her impaled. Just ragdoll. Ragdoll. There we go. The thing was supposed to fall onto its front like that, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Well, you still need to push it. Yeah, that's one of the drawbacks of some physics puzzles. If something is supposed to fall onto its face or a specific side, if it doesn't want to fall like that, you're going to have a bit of an issue. Actually, can we open this thing completely? By just wedging this thing in the whole way? Okay, it won't actually grab on anymore. Well, you can at least climb it, so that, you know, that works. And... Yeah. The, remember oh. that thing, <laughs> that bit about the sort of Damocles hanging over one's head? Yep, I can see the puzzle. Oh, no. I remember that... 
Just Drive Haze had one big complaint about this puzzle, and that those stupid things were seeking to home in on the on you in this first game. Let's see. And there's very obviously things going to be coming up from the floor here. Let's see. Yep. The camera will give me a good angle. There we go. And that's a big collection of them. Okay. That sounded like something snapping. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Well, we can guess what happens the moment we pick that up. Let's see. No tricks. Nothing to pull down and block it or attempt to block it. Oops. Hey, we got the key. Run. Okay, th that's cheating. The swords are supposed to be hanging above you. Well, holding movement is to move. Oh, you have to cautiously walk so you don't get uh, impaled and stuff. Okay. Uh, keep that at least. Can it be a toggle? Because if I hold it down, then Windows is starting to, uh, going to start complaining. Uh, uh. Doesn't look like it. Okay. Just. I know it's quite that... pulse, though. Okay. Yeah, you're supposed to walk across these so that you don't accidentally run into the next set of spikes. Yeah. Okay. Move two forwards. Is that it? That is a neat thing. A neat, a neat thing in the old Tomb Raider games is there were often stuff like spears and oh hello. Uh, broken glass that if you fell into it, you would, uh, well, get instantly killed. Uh, if you'd run through it, you would get damaged. But if you walked slowly through it, you would go, well, unharmed. But let's not try that out with these. These things <laughs> These things have written have tetanitis. Uh, well, Whatever that Tetanus. thing is, you can, tetanus that you've written all over them. Okay, now we just gotta figure out a way to open the door. Yeah, that was going to be somewhat easy. We just need to find a way to get to it. Let's see. Down. I mean, I think and you can there. Find some okay. Of those. Are we going to need to climb this damn swords? No. We just need to go through another round of these. Let's see. Oh. Let's see. Which places remain open? Here we go, and then the, only the first. Then the second. Lost. Okay, so it's it's the white tiles every time it seems. Oh, what? What? And now we need to do the whole thing. Okay, but we know the pattern now. We just need to wait for it again. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, Noon found the video I was talking about. And yeah, it, it shows that uh, this series became a hit not just because uh, Loa <laughs> was made into a sex yeah, very symbol. Obvious. But you know, it had some interesting puzzles. Yeah, and just the design as well. It, everything looked cubey, but it also made it very easy to tell if you could make a jump or not. Okay, uh, let's go. And well, 
the, that one person who probably did a, a bit too much uh, work into the death animations and such. <laughs> okay. I don't really want to go around and go get that unless we get close to it somehow. And yeah, you can see it in the mur mural now. The, <laughs> the king with the sword held over them. Go. And I think I saw a gathered. Yeah, we jump back. Yep. Okay, and then we just go across. The game does show a bit of mercy whenever you're trying to jump to a platform, as it will typically not overshoot you. Go and open this thing back up. And hopefully, it will stay open so we don't have to go through that again if we're too slow. Okay, at least it closes slowly. Alright, this didn't work last time, I think. Okay, it actually does. Time it. Technically, we could just run through, but we've been doing this the whole time, so might as well continue. Okay, you got uh... all four. Damocles, Poseidon. Uh... You know what? Fuck. We got the keys. Let's uh, let's see what's on. Let's see what's behind door number one. Yep. The one held um, shut with blades. Uh, let's see, blue, yeah. so that's Poseidon's. And we have Hephaestus. He gets purple. On rule 14, we'll have red. No, that's Democles. Well, you think about it, Hephaestus is usually associated with fire and all. True, but fire can be purple if the correct material is burning. Yeah. And, well, the sort of Damocles is the whole thing that, <laughs> if that thing drops, it's going to split you in half, so plenty of blood. Okay, we missed three oh. artifacts. I don't I think you know how hammer works. If I remember correctly... There, yeah, the, uh, the blade. This... Oh. No, He's talking about the it's not the hammer no, of. Um, is it, if it were the hammer of Damocles, that'd be a different story. Yeah, that'd oh. be a bonk. Uh, oh wait, uh, wait. Then this, 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 I mean, the Feistos should be been red. Yeah. Hey, wait, what, what was I? Where was I? I, shit, I forgot my train of thought. Uh, the hammer of uh, Damocles. No, that wasn't it. It was prior to. Oh yeah, if you look up how fire is, fire is usually depicted as like orange, yellow, yellow and orange mixed together, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, if I remember correctly, the higher the hotter the fire is, it actually turns into a blue type of color. Oh, yep. I see that. And For apparently white. reason, some. Stupid reason. There's some shots you need to have blue fire on to drink. Or rather, yeah. you light it up so it turns blue fire, then you kill the fire, then you drink it. Yeah. And, well, there's like, a reason why there's also the term white hot. Oh, yeah. That, God, I think mean, there's a fire that's basically invisible. Yep, that's when a burn is perfect. Like, complete one-to-one -one, uh, consumption of the uh, of fuel, or at least gas, and air oxygen. Yeah, Do, uh, is, ain't it also extremely dangerous? Yeah. I think that's a hydrant. I think... I know there's invisible fire, which is called caused by hydrogen. Oh dear. I only know if it thinks to CSI that someone apparently 
May the letter bomb with that kind of fire. I I don't think I've ever watched the CSI episode, but I remember reading about how, like, in the old days, NASA, NASA would have to, like... Okay, just grab a broom, stick it in front of you. The broom suddenly catches fire, there's hydrogen sticking out and setting shit on fire. Yeah. Oh, I dear. think that is a before, danger with the space shuttles and such, that uh, if something catches in on fire in them it's likely to be burning invisibly yeah and this was before they got like uh, uh the uv type glasses uv type goggles uh, ultra vision i don't remember his name i know it's uv but this sort of like way to see the sort of fire this was before that so nasa just would just would go around with like Sticking a broom on areas and then Well, that's on fire. Yeah, there's hydrogen leaking out Holy yeah That is concerning you uh, did any, you did... any Dungeons and Dragons game masters listening at this eventually now have a new idea I think yes. even... no, hey, I think Oh yeah, actually, I think they already beat you... Uh, Magic the Gathering already beat it with Ghost Fire card. I have one. Actually, a few of them. At least I think it's supposed to be someone breathing out invisible fire. There we go. Basic A to B uh, platforming. Oh but no. Helium! Yeah. Fire's not to be messed with. Yeah. Yeah, it is not meant to be messed with. Giant gorilla in Greece, why the fuck not? Wait, what? Uh, Harambe is back and he's trying to tell us something, which is likely oh, no, it's fuck off. Two. No, it's two giant gorillas in the Coliseum in Greece. That that would have that would have hurt if that had come down as a punch instead of a corpse. Okay, I have no idea why there are gorillas here unless well, sure it's supposed to be ancient Atlantean sacred rune or something, but why so would they still all Greek? But they did import yeah, a Greek lot of stuff from all over. We're at a Greek Colosseum. Yeah, they imported shit from all over the world. Yeah, but they, the gorillas were myths back then. They didn't catch them. They, they took centuries to actually, they actually got to see an actual gorilla. So they would not be in Colosseums. No, they wouldn't, but they make for an interesting fight. Yeah, but probably feel like they should brought something else there. Oh well. Yeah. Like a minotaur or something. Yeah, that would be a bit too much <laughs> at this point. Oh, really? Um, like, not a zombified listener trying to grab you? <laughs> Wasn't uh, too much? Yeah, too More much like, for this area this is, of it. Yeah. Like, because this is still the normal just, stuff. Like, we're basically just starting, and as time goes on, it goes into the weirder shit and go, ah, okay. Sure, we're going there. Why the fuck not? Yeah. Oh on, dear. Or... Either grab on or climb on there. Okay. If you want to take the slide, just say so. There we go. And I will tell we will be seeing a mythical creature in this area, and we need a key for that. This opens up that gate. I pray it's not Medusa or Gorgon. As some fact, it says I think be a be healer talking about this. Medusa is a Gorgon. Yep. More monkeys and even the cats now. What the 
fucking do out here, apparently. Completely missed that. Okay, get the ape and headache. Oop, and ape almost giving me a headache, and I missed that. Click too early, yeah. It's better to dodge to the sides, I'd say. As cool as it looks to dodge backwards, it it is going to end with something on top of you. Another way that the internet loves to display. Oh, Unless you go for the gory parts of the internet. Let's not. Let's not. Unfortunately, somebody will. It won't be us, but somebody will. Let's see, how do we get to that there? So there is something different. Oh, I think we see how now. Uh, yeah, it has the, it has the rings, so we can just pull that down. You might want to get closer to it. There we okay, go. Okay, no, there. Actually, since it has the rings on it, we should just be able to pull it over like this. Can it go up here? It's a bit um, easier than just steering that thing back and forth. See the ceiling? Yeah, it's a bit rumbly. One, one a bit dusty. It might mean there's something walking up there. Or you need to push it. Oh, there we go. Oh, I meant that there might be something on the floor above us. Come on. Then you mean on the, you know, never mind. Uh, I was commenting earlier that uh, I saw the on the ceiling the dust were falling off as something was walking up on there. Yeah, it's just the place being old. I'm not sure there is an area above us. Well, I mean, technically there is, by sheer virtue of the fact that this place is underground. True, but <laughs> no room above us, at least. Uh, let's see. Close enough. Now, what is this? Oh, it's a key. Balcony key. Balcony key. And some poor schmuck. I was hard expecting to find pistols Sorry. there. Yep. Tried to um, jump away, but the other cat got me. Where did they even come from at this point? The whoop of you are fucking fast. Okay. We know where that key goes because I mentioned it just <laughs> minutes before. Uh, let's see. How do we get the. Oh, we, we climbed up the, the, the pillar here. A uh, fun little fact about the Greek, you know, or the old Greek justice system, apparently. Uh, Colosseums weren't only used for entertainment and such, or at least amphitheaters weren't only used for entertainment and such. Uh, they were also used for, <clears throat> for uh, well, court cases, or whatever they would be called in the day then. And, yeah, basically the audience would play, would act as a as, as the jury, and well, you can imagine how many people you could fit into a smaller version of this. And the reason for that would be because it would be impossible to bribe everyone. Yeah, and also, don't you mean Roman? Yeah, the, the Greeks more, I think. For I don't think Greeks use these kind of things. I thought it was the only Romans that would dig the Colosseum things. At the point we're at, we've mixed enough things with history that I don't know if the developers even knew these probably thought, Hey, that Colosseum looks cool, let's put it as a set piece. Yep, yep. <laughs> Ouch. Okay, we're supposed to swing to the next. Luckily, we have checkpoints. Okay, I, I, th 
I think it was actually one of the complaints that Just Drive Hayes had about the uh, <clears throat> about the original Tomb Raider, and that probably a lack of uh, checkpoints that would make it a hell of a lot difficult to get from one place to another if you kept screwing up the platforming. And let's see, can we? We can jump to this. Oh. That's Hello. just ammunition, it looks like. So, is... Oh no, those, those are pistols. Yep, secrets. Wait. Okay, we hey, got them. Hey, you got the eagles. Yeah, <laughs> we got them early. I think. Yeah, no, you get them early. Yeah, no, I think you get them after, like, the other guy. Like, the Pierre dude, since he was holding them and... We got the shotgun from Larson, so I figure we probably get the Desert Eagle from that guy. Yeah. Do you mean shotgun? Yeah, the, the Texan yeah. dude at the end of Peru, we got the shotgun from him. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so if we follow the pattern, if we follow that pattern, there's a good chance we get the uh, Desert Eagles from the French guy here. And, I don't know, I think there's another weapon you can get. I don't remember well. Ah, uh, oh, okay, okay, now I get ya, now I get ya. We need to go this way. Laura could just e just as easily climb up on that, but, oh well, she wants to be clingy on with it. Uh, let's see. Now we need to go down. There we go. And we might as well give these a try on whatever we encounter next. Yeah, we can't we can't do the flips because it's a slope, not the flat floor. Nothing there. Nope, nothing there either. Okay, it's about it's about when our head touches the floor that you need to press up again. For her to start flips. And you need to keep pressing it on each uh, one. And I heard bats, so I'm not going to waste ammo on those. <laughs> as they face from reality. Well, that was that. That, that ended. Uh, it, wait, it was it not a flipped. secret? Okay. Huh. Huh. Here we go. Oh yeah, this is the one. Midas. Also... Damn it. What with all the fucking gorillas? I guess they went eight with the design. Uh... There we go. What do you think Lara looks better with? A ponytail or her braid? Because I know in the Legend games she has the braid and anniversary, but in Legend and Underworld she has a ponytail. I personally I she looks... prefer braids. I think she looks good in both, so I'd be happy for both. It's... So basically, I would not complain really. Let's see. Can we pluck this out? Or hmm. I think we There's need an item to, to get a switch item. somewhere around here. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, okay, no, no, Hillian, just just show it off. Yeah, I want the checkpoint first. Oh, okay. oh well. Yeah, fair enough. Before Rakir starts to guess it. Nope. <laughs> <What the laughs> and we're going wild. <laughs> yeah, the whole Midas <laughs> touch thing, huh? I was to guess Midas touch here, but I did not expect it from that. Yeah. Okay, I'm pretty sure once we do this that any weapon is going to be a kill shot with that. There we go. 
But uh, yeah, that was in the original as well with the Midas touch, only the camera wouldn't spin like absolute mad. It didn't spin when I played it either, so I guess there that just that's just an extra bug for the highlight reel. Yeah. Okay, so let's avoid that. Technically with this hand like this it should mean that the entire thing should have been turned to gold, but oh well. Hey look, shotgun shells. Okay. <laughs> Okay, was it just me or did the camera uh, linger a little bit on the hand there? It wasn't Beep. just passing uh, along it. As to why, well, we'll see in a bit. Because it's actually not just the core, it's also part of the puzzle. Okay, so you're all supposed to use the goldy hand. Yep. All right, well, I was getting worried if that was just to push me a very, very low trap for players. Okay, nothing coming out to jump at us. And we have about four minutes remaining, I think. Okay, should be enough to get to the next checkpoint. Yeah, and I have to take a shower. Everyone's leaving, and honestly, as fun as it is hanging out with you guys, I do kind of want to get out, and we got a bunch of shit to pay, and we got to look for a fridge. Yep, damn it. Yeah, I understand you. And I hope it will go well with the fridge hunt. Yeah, thanks. I don't Let's... think rope's gonna help. Hmm, what do we actually need to do here? Some extra ammo. Hmm. A rope there, but that's too low for us to grab. Oh, here. Okay. You you want to know a fun fact about the Dead Space remake? Yeah. Go ahead. So, because you know technology has gotten better, so we can you know do face mocap. The voice yes. actor he's had since two gonna write. Uh, they, he, that's actually his face in the remake, only they, for some reason, made him actually younger than what he looks like in the original trilogy. Yeah, like I've his heard the hairs... What? Go ahead. Yeah, like his hair is actually brown rather than black and graying. Which, given the fact that he's like 46, I guess, makes some sense, but at the same time, he also... You know, you know the shit he goes through in Dead Space 1 and 2, he just... Yeah. He probably start graying something a bit. It's actually the opposite with uh, Nicole, and here is where we need to go, as in she was aged up to resemble her voice actor. So it Not makes it look that, like Isaac is uh, into older women. <laughs> the funny thing is, they're both still the same age, it's just that apparently Isaac just doesn't age that much. Okay, I don't know if I like that, like... And the funnier part is... If you watch, like, a Q&A video gonna write it, he actually, like, has darker hair and has gray. And, like, that's also graying, which means... You know, they didn't really have to, like, make him look younger. They just had to make him look like his voice actor, which they already did. They didn't have to, like, make him look younger. <laughs> Oh dear. They probably no. just did it. I don't know why they did it, but they just did it. Oh, no, no, no. I, I, I'm a bit mixed about making vo uh, characters look like the voice actors, but sometimes it makes sense. But here, I don't know. It sounds a bit odd. Well, in the case of. Okay, I think that's what you need for the Midas part. Uh, in the case of uh, Dead Space, uh, Isaac didn't really have a voice in the first one. I think I'm gonna write to voice him from the second and third game. And they slightly modified how he looked from the first game to the second and third game to somewhat more closely resemble his voice actor. By um, okay, the remake, they figured, screw it. We got, they figured, screw it. We got the budget for it. And they just made him look like his voice actor more 
just straight up mo capped him. Okay. So it's... Honestly, my biggest complaint is that they, they made him look younger than he actually was. It's yeah, tight. that... It, run. Which is even... Which, like I said, is funnier when you remember that his voice actor now looks older than his character, even though they both share the same face. Oh, bloody heck. <laughs> it's just funny. Yeah, okay, not enough distance there. I think we just hit a checkpoint, but let's head back for now. And yes, I'm going There's to try and do the clips at every opportunity. Yeah, and uh, you did get the checkpoint. Okay. Uh, yeah, L let's turn that thing to gold and then we'll call it. And yes, we can still turn during the... There's a lot of checkpoints here. <laughs> okay. Put that there. And then it's gold. This time without... Well, <laughs> making a life-size statuette. Or statue of Lara. Statuette is a small thing, I think. Okay, that's one way to unlock it. Now we just need to find the rest of the ways to unlock it so it can be open and we can leave. Okay, it's going to checkpoint here again once we pass through. Uh, it's <laughs> it's enough time, but, but we can put down a safe. Is that going to put us down right here again? I don't really know. Or is it just at the last them. check and safe? Doesn't really matter, it's not too much lost. But uh, yeah, also notice the background here changed because we're in a different level. Ooh. That's a nice detail. Yeah, anytime okay. you like, whenever you go, like, you start the game, you're in the caves in Peru, you get degrees, you're in St. Francis fully, and so on and so on until we reach the end game. Okay, we don't okay. have any other of those unlocked. We haven't found any of the relics. We even, they even have a jukebox in this, which is always appreciated. Yeah. <laughs> and we have no cheats unlocked, but. This is always just fun when they have in extra stuff that you can unlock through finding things. It actually gives you a good reason to go looking for stuff. Yeah. But we'll take a look at that once we are done with the story. For now, though, let's exit and head on over here. Come on. Oh dear. Oh, there we go. Yeah. The reason it does that is because the yeah the the. <clears throat> The VC phase works through game capture, even though it isn't actually a game. Uh, but to make yeah. the new scene without ed editing the, uh, the without one. editing the source in the other one, uh, I had to well make a new game capture. But yeah, <clears throat> so you're effectively running two game captures: one for the regular game and one for this chunk of the stuff. Yeah, and actually a third one, which isn't act act which isn't active. Uh, because it's on the it's on this scene and on the original stream scene. Uh, also, what are your uh, thoughts about the big size, the big screen size on that ROM? I'm still a bit uncertain on it myself, but it, it I'd rather have that than go full screen and have us just blocking off stuff on the, the on the actual the game. HUD. Yeah, yeah, in the game. Uh, all things considered, it looks fine as a compromise. Um, yeah, we, we still block removing... a bit, but a only a little. Yeah, we we don't block as much. Um, the chat showing up on the side is nice, but that also means you know getting rid of like the piratey right chat thing. But that's your choice, not mine. And we're yeah. suddenly looking at Jurassic, whatever. Anyways, the point is, um, thus far it seems to work. It yeah. seems to work, and it's fine. Hey, okay. somebody's streaming Tomb Raider too. Yeah. Oh, that's uh, Dugget Douglas McDog, who is... I've only seen them stream Tomb Raider stuff. They were away for a while, and apparently they're, they've, they're busy with a charity thing they recently, that they're going through each of the games in specific challenges, like no healing, no saving, and stuff. And actually, let yeah, me... Yeah, what's it, what's it the thing? Second. They only play Tomb Raider games with challenges? Yeah, from what I've seen from them so far, and apparently... 
there are a lot more people. There are other people watching Tomb Raider 2 as well. More than just Doug, <laughs> Douglet. Yeah, the, why did I call it Douglet? Douglet. So yeah, he's, he even has different outfits for his avatar <laughs> for the air, different areas in the games. Because I've seen him in the, the swimsuits <laughs> like and in the original outfit as well. Oh, hey, mm. uh... Here's a random, actually random ass piece of trivia. So, what does Lara wear in like the original trilogy? What does she look? What does it look like she wears? Uh, mostly the tank top and shorts. The yeah. funny thing is, apparently that's not a tank top. That's a leotard. <laughs> okay. Wait, what? I don't know. It's apparently it's actually a, a leotard, and she wears shorts. It became a tank top later on. Okay, probably because I... it looked a bit weird <laughs> to be wearing it swimwear. Uh, I guess the reason why people would mistake for tank top is the shorts would hide it was a leotard. Yeah, pretty much. Everybody figured she's wearing a tank top, but no, some, like, I think some promotional art shows a bit closer her outfit on the 3D model, and yeah, it's actually a leotard. Okay. It would, it would fit someone with her of, acrobatics. It, it would sort of make sense for acrobatics and also that she's well, she dies a lot. <laughs> but it does okay. sound also weird still to always walk around in a leotard with shorts on just because you're always ready to swim. <laughs> to be fair, I, considering Lara's luck, she's already had to swim like four or five times in anniversary alone. Yeah. Actually, yeah, it makes sense for her in those situations. But those, it would sound weird if she were that regularly. True. Uh, I think that's why in the meantime, though. Uh, <clears throat> so we've raided Doggett, since they're also doing Tomb Raider stuff, and it, it is a charity stream. Or shall we raid someone else? Uh, I don't sure if people want to raid it during charity streams. Yeah, it's more that they are say they are collect <clears throat> they're taking donations to go to charity or building oh, yeah. up I, to it. I know that. Yes, I'm not sure people usually raid those. Hmm. I guess we're not going to. You know what? I'm honestly gonna tired myself. I'm just gonna leave. You guys, uh, good luck with that. Okay. But thank you for the... uh, thank you for hanging around. Anyways. Yeah. Thank you for hmm. joining, Rom. You're welcome. Have a good. Uh... Have a good day. Later. Yeah. Same to you. Deceive. Okay. Yes, uh, besides Doggett, we have Sarah Walrus, who is streaming Bloodborne. Kevin I, who is streaming Harvestella, which is a somewhat recent game, I believe. We have Kiri Natsuyoko streaming Pokemon Emerald. And we have Ruffy Ruff Raccoon streaming Assassin's Creed Odyssey. That would, that would be fitting, since we're going from a Greek level to a Greek game, or Greek setting game. Uh, Big V Streams is playing Deus Ex. And Radian is online streaming The Great Ace Attorney Chronicles. I think that's the, a collection of the Ace Attorney games or something? I think so? Yeah. I'm uh, sure. Ruffy Raccoon? Uh, either Ruffy Raccoon or Doggett. Okay. Um. Yeah, let's go raid Rafi. I don't think we've went to them in quite a while. So just copy over the name to avoid any chance of. Okay, I can't say I've seen that armor before. To avoid any chance of possible misspelling. So slash raid paste. Oh, oh you you welcome noon. Yeah, as always. Uh, but before we start the raid, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later, which includes you, Noon. Thank you for hanging around and sitting along. And uh, yeah, we'll be we'll be going through all of the Legends games. I will at least get the first of the newest trilogy as well. I'm a bit I I was a bit less impressed with the later ones in this in that series, but it that's not to say they were bad or anything. So we may go for them as well at one point. And uh, yeah, thank you, Rom, as well for co-commentating and co-hosting, and as always, Drakir as well. You, you're always welcome, my friend. And with that, let's start the raids. 
And uh, yeah, not sure if we'll be doing an evening stream. I'm getting a bit tired as is, but it might just be because I'm still just trying to unwind from the <laughs> getting into a more regular sleep schedule instead of yeah having to get up and get uh, back, get to bed at ra almost random times with work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Worked. if we do an evening stream, that's a week maybe. Yeah, uh, we'll have to see what we would even stream for it because we've done our double of anniversary and we've done uh, serial cleaners, maybe Minecraft. I got a lot done with that. Yeah, uh, but I, I still would... need to get more done with it. I would say probably Minecraft says. I would say Valheim, but probably is you. Valheim is those games you need to be a bit more. Uh, both of us will need to be more awake for. Yeah. But we'll see that tonight, whether or not, or uh, if we will. For now, though, thank you all again for watching, and until next time, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe for a while, and, and shut up, ice cream! <laughs> the ice cream truck is honking outside. Yeah, see you all later. Be safe, everyone.